so guys as you can see now we are producing kafka messages okay we are producing messages uh, we are sending events into kafka by using stream bridge which actually this is a imperative style when we use spring cloud stream there is a new style okay that we can use to produce consume or process the messages which is by using functional style spring cloud stream since i think spring cloud stream 2 or 3 okay it is now possible to use um, functions okay in order to produce process or consume messages so the only thing that maybe you need to know is that there is a project which is called by spring cloud function okay if you understand what is uh, for example uh, function is a service serverless application so there is a project called by spring cloud function but we are talking about spring cloud stream and Spring Cloud Stream uses Spring Cloud Function and Spring Integration, of course, in order to provide a, a mean that allow us to process or to send or to deal with uh, messaging, okay, with event-driven uh, uh, application development by using functional style, okay, and it uses the pure Java functions okay so when we talk about java functions we know that there are too many okay but for example we know that there is supplier there is a function and consumer right so we are going to give example for all of them but for now let's just focus on supplier okay so when we use supplier in spring cloud stream we know that the supplier will be the source, okay? We are supplying, we, we are going to use it as the source or the origin of the data, okay? So it's like the producer. When we want to produce data, we are going to use supplier, okay? So you can understand also supplier as like, the supplier does not subscribe to any channel or something like that, of course, because it's a, um, because it's the source of the data, okay? This is the, the, the first step that you can use to produce data just as well that as well as we did here, okay? Producing data or events, okay? Producing events like this, but instead using the functional uh, interface or functional style, or also called by um, functional approach, okay? But this uh, function, okay it needs to be triggered by something okay it's not just like this of course here we are using the controller we are uh, using the service okay and we send event but for the, the supplier we need uh, some other style so i'm going to show you guys how we can deal with it okay so the first thing that we need to do we are going now um, i think we need to create here a new package Let's call it by messaging. So having here, this package messaging is the package that we are going to uh, create all our components which deals with messaging, okay? So in that order, let's just, for example, create here a new class, okay? Let's just call it by customer messaging and the first thing that we need to do is to create our supplier. So it's Java supplier. As you can see, uh, the Java, the package is Java util function. Okay, so we use this. And here we are going to say what we are going to, to em emit, okay? Which event we are going to send, okay? So, and yes, let's just say like, for example, customer supplier. So it's pure Java, okay? So we are going to return, okay, supplier. Supplier doesn't, if you remember guys, the supplier, even in Java, supplier doesn't um, receive any argument, okay, but it produce something, okay? So if we see here the supplier, so if we see here, the supplier has only, uh, it's a functional interface, right? Only have one method and the supplier doesn't receive anything but it's returning something okay so following the same approach so we cannot for example receive anything here 
from our supplier. Instead, we are just going to return something, okay? So in that order, for example, what we are trying to do here, we are trying to uh, supply, we are trying to emit some events using the supplier. So I'm just going to inject here, let me use here. I'm just going to inject here our service, which is customer service, okay? Let's call it by customer service. But before, let's go to customer service and let's delete this one here, which we were talking about it in the previous video. Okay, we don't need it anymore because we are now going to use the functional approach, which is fancy, okay? So now that we inject here, let me just use the the Lombok okay, annotation, which allows me to um, which allows me to, to inject my, my dependencies okay, through constructor. Okay, because I could just, for example, use here uh, at auto riot or like this, okay, but I don't like it. I like more injecting like this. So now that we have here, let's just, for example, here, um, it, it needs a return, okay? I know that it's, for now, it's a bit uh, redundant, but let me just do it. Yes, we are going to use here, create, okay? Now we are going to create a new customer. So in that order, you know that we are using rich domain. So let's create customer. Customer receive some values. So yes, here I have my, my customer, okay? I'm just creating here customer. Let me just remove it here in order to be more clear. Yes, I'm just, oops, I'm just creating my customer here. Let me just, yes, customer created, okay? I'm just putting it in past because it's an event, okay? The message, the message that we are producing is an event, okay? That's why it should be in past. So here I'm just creating the customer, okay? And we are producing here. So the next thing that we need to do here is to annotate it as a bin, okay? So having it like that, the question is how we are going to produce, for example, uh, data, okay? But for now, let me just run our application. Before, let me check the AKHQ, which is a uh, Kafka UI, okay, um, that I'm using here in order to see our topics. As you can see, guys, we don't have any topic here. I'm gonna run uh, my uh, application. Ah, uh, yes, my bad, my bad, guys, because here we need to annotate it as a component, right? Because uh, Spring will initialize, will create our uh, bin, okay? Because we need to uh, uh, annotate it as a component. So now let's run our application. Let's see what's going. Okay, now as we can see, okay, it's giving us uh, some exceptions. Okay, it's saying that uh, November 31st doesn't exist. So I'm just going to put here another data okay so let's run our application okay now it's okay now let's check so if we take a look here guys now we have here a new topic okay the topic is customer supplier out zero so what's happened here is that doing so the spring will use some kind of um, mechanism to trigger, okay, uh, our, uh, to, to trigger and send our events, okay? So what's happening here, it's for every, every uh, second, it's polling, okay? It's like triggering, okay, and sending events. If we take a look here, now we have 42, 44, 5, 6, and it's sending if we take a look, okay, it's sending events, okay? So it created, let's check once again, it created um, just a new topic, okay? Because we didn't specify anything and it's sending events. So it's 
spring cloud stream okay so we use this approach when for example we are implementing um, let's suppose an export for example we go into database and we are uh, here in our service instead of creating we are generating data okay the data should be automatically for example generated or we are exporting data we go to database and exporting some data making some queries okay so this approach here it will trigger events every second okay so it's nice when you apply um, for example, when you are trying to implement outbox transaction, outbox pattern, okay? When you try to implement transaction, outbox pattern, for example, or you are trying to uh, export some data from your database, okay? So it's polling, okay? The trigger here is uh, every second it's triggering, it's polling, it's, it's sending data, okay? So we go back here, it's sending, it keeps sending. So it's creating data. If we check here, ID1, if we check here, now we have 40, uh, um, 50, 40, and some other data, okay? We can go farther, we can check, okay? It's creating data. And as we can see, right? So the ID, right? The ID is changing. So this is what we call, okay, by uh, polling data. So it's very, it's the first concept of streaming, right? Streaming. So this is the first approach, okay, using uh, this. Sometimes we don't need it, right? We need something as we had before, where we just have a component and we trigger the message, right? And we trigger the component and it sends us the message, not streaming like this, right? So this is what we are going to see in the next video uh, using the next approach, which will be um, Spring Cloud Stream, okay, again, functional, but it will be reactive, okay, so let's go, guys.